hello guys and welcome once again to my youtube channel uh where i share with you obviously information that you know you will never find just anywhere so in this particular section i want to share with you my lookout for uh, my lookout on gold what i'm anticipating the trades that i'm currently in the trades that i'm looking forward to take this entire week on gold remember if you now know me now you know that i focus when it comes to currency pairs i trade gold i trade the nasdaq and sometimes the JBP USD, sometimes also the US 30. Those are my only areas that I, those are the only pairs that I prefer trading, basically. So currently, we are, I'm currently in this current uh, buy that you see. We actually took this buy just this morning uh, in my VIP signals group. I took this buy because of a breaker block that was broken and retested because the market is still yet to tap into my my selling zone which is around the, where the tp is but so far right now we 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 locked some profits the trade is on break even we locked some profits the trade is on break even so no no nothing much to worry about there we are currently in profit so i want i don't want to delete this analysis so i'll just go to i'll just go to another 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 chart so that i don't delete my current analysis like that right so Whatever I'm going to show you here is exactly the same things that I'm going to be doing even even on my on my on my side uh with my VIP guys. These are the exact trades that you're going to take. So all the trades that you see here, everything that you see here is exactly the same thing that you see on that we are going to do, I mean, with my guys there in the with my team in the VIP, VIP uh, signals group there. Let me just open a different chart. Right. So I'm going to start analyzing from here so that you see why I'm expecting what I'm expecting. Uh, I don't just come here to say things. If you see me coming out, releasing a video like this, I would have seen something, not only seen something, but I'm, I'll be about to take a certain action on the market. So, uh, so starting from the monthly monthly time frame, you can see uh the the gold the gold starting from the monthly time frame. On the monthly time frame, if ever I'm I'm I I I'm I'm asked what's going on, this is simply still a bullish market according to the monthly time frame, right? It's still a bullish market on the monthly. It's still a bullish market entire bullish market on the monthly created this high which is a higher high still maintaining the same higher high so basically what what's going on now it's a it's at a very crucial critical zone now because this is a key level as you can see someone can mark that as a key level that's a key level where price may drop from right there's nothing wrong with that you can do that so once you get confirmations there is a probability that we might have some good drops down before the continuation up. Uh, it can even drop as far as it can even drop as far as uh, let me mark this demand. It's also another key level that I'm anticipating price to even fall onto in as much as it can take it can take us months to get here, which is around next year, around next year, around later next year that's when it will be getting but i'm just like talking for the sake of the future next year the, this video will still be here but this midway here around uh, i think around around next year around may somewhere there they would have reached here so where it is right now is a crucial very very crucial zone where gold is right now at the top that's a very 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 crucial zone there <clears throat> so going down to the weekly I now need to gather more information from the weekly now. So on the weekly, we are just concerned about this zone. Remember, this is where we're going to be taking our trades. So whatever I was just looking at on the month, it's just for the purpose of you having a rough idea or a rough bias of what 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 is going on and what might even happen in the next coming month on gold. It's very it, it it's it's very key for you as a as a as a full time trader like me to always be aware of the things that will happen to your pair even in the next coming months because it will help you even there are trades that you can even hold for weeks and weeks and weeks uh so here this is the zone right as i said 
that's the zone you can mark it like that keys on there that's the keys on there so after establishing this change of character down what it's simply saying it's simply saying now that it can drop and give us that uh monthly time frame higher low that we want right so <clears throat> that's the reason for this change of character so what changed this character is this highs this highs there right so here i actually even told my guys that they they the they... right so this is what i'm looking at on gold i have this highest point came the first time didn't touch came second so gold it it also is a possibility now of coming to t touch this high why it will collect these two as liquidity collect those two highs as liquidity which are the equal highs tap into this high because this high is the one that ultimately established this change of character right so establishing this change of character they are simply saying if we we're going up for example here they were going up going up so now it means they are now going down so coming down uh coming down coming down like that this is uh, my, uh, my other tp level when you are coming down this is also my other tp level that i will use when you are coming down as, as well as this other demand that I drew based on the monthly, right? So those would be, th those would be TP targets that I will use. But so far now, so this is just according to external structure like that. So external structure, this is the, that's the high there. This was the law, we broke the law. We now have a lower law, right? Like this, right? So me realizing this now, if this market comes back here and rejects below, it's still going to go down. Meaning, once it comes there, we can get another sniper, a very beautiful sniper, sniper, sniper cell from the top there. We can get a very beautiful sniper top, a sniper entry, sniper cell from the top there. Once it comes to the top there, that high rejects, closes below. We can have a very beautiful sniper. Once you get that beautiful sniper, your your major target will be this one. First major target. So that's a, that's a trade that can. That's a, a, a trade that I'm even looking forward to even for the next. It can happen in the next coming weeks or next coming uh, month or whatever. But definitely the market will be there. It will come there. It will come there. It might come there before even uh, the end. You see, around October, that's when it will be there. So around October, I'm expecting the market to be. It can come all the way there. Why now? Because after this external change of character, remember, the internal, the internal, uh, structure obviously here they shifted the order flow which is now a bullish order flow so this is internal this is the internal change of character right the internal change of character this one like this because for them to go up they have to shift from coming down like this they have to shift uh, the order flow like that after they shift the order flow like this right they are now bullish now inside so in order for us now to fully be confirmed or to fully be sure that definitely they are now coming down, they have to also shift the same coming down. So here they are still bullish. Inside here they are still bullish because you can see that was a low here, that was a low there, that was a high there. They changed character there after they changed character. This is internal structure now. Internal structure. Internal structure. So internal, internally you can see that they are still pushing up. Internally, they are still bullish. That's why I still even have uh, confidence that they can still push all the way here. Coming there, they will know that they would have collected every other liquidity that is in form of equal highs like that before dropping down, right? So that's that's a bias that I'm actually anticipating, a very beautiful bias that I'm anticipating on gold, right? So these internal levels, I can even use them as targets, targets for once I get the correct sell 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 opportunity there once i get the correct sell entry at the top there i can actually find myself entering beautiful beautiful uh cells uh from the top there targeting these internal levels as my other mini targets so that's that's what i'm looking forward to gold uh on the higher time frames so on the lower time frames there i'm now just uh, aligning my lower time frames uh, with what I just saw on the higher time frame. So this is 
this is the current lower time frame structure higher high that's a high that's a low higher high day higher low uh, that's a higher high day right so now the most interesting thing now there's this interesting thing now remember at that level uh, here I can, I can also see that there's also another level here that they they didn't touch they didn't fully touch there here they also have another level so basically it's still within the same zone there so here if you notice now break we broke, we broke structure to the left this is the current uh this, so this one i'm just keeping uh, the, the, that entry point for the sake of the future but it's an entry point that i'm actually anticipating very 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 much anticipating that entry point very very big time this one it's an entry point that you can even target yourself you can even place a pending order there and just hold and wait so now internally now this is the current internal structure right this is the current internal structure your trend line brothers and sisters can just come and draw trend lines there's nothing wrong with that the only wrong thing about trend lines is that they can easily be manipulated uh in terms of uh the structure there are, there are times that they can even manipulate your trend lines nicely they can come and mani manipulate them nicely so a trend line trader can come and draw their trend lines something like this something like this tell you that if you break up here we are going up you can come and say that right the, i'm not i'm not against any any of that but all i'm saying is if all you know is trend lines and you you can't align your trend line knowledge with market structure trend that trend lines will always be manipulated they will always break out after breaking out the area that for example i can give you a simple practical example here here right someone could have drawn maybe a trend line like this broke out came back above above the trend line uh so trend lines they're all they on their own on their own on their own there's a trend line here broken came big below broken again so they it is they, they, there's a lot of inconsistency when it comes to you if ever you're just looking at trend lines only right once you align your trend line knowledge with <laughs> the institutional knowledge that some of us we now know at a deeper level, we not only know, we understand. We understand, we not only know, we understand. So someone, someone can come and draw this, right? So now me looking at structure clearly, you can see that internally also, internally of the daily, internally on the daily, internally on the daily, you realize that uh, we established a, an internal change of character. This one was there to facilitate this pullback because this is still a pullback. So long it doesn't it doesn't break this higher low here. So this higher low region, I'm actually anticipating this pullback to keep on to keep on coming up until they tap here. If they want to go up, I'm expecting them to still continue coming down. Still continue coming down. If they want to go up, they can go up from there, right? Like this. This is a structure that I'm currently having right now on gold. Beautiful, beautiful setup. You can actually draw the same similar setup on your chart. It's a setup that can help you to even take successful trades on gold. For the next coming weeks, even the entire rest of this year, you can take successful trades on gold just by following this simple setup that I'm, I'm showing you now. So this is still remains a pullback so long they haven't broken this law right that's our high that's our law so what else what else can we identify so whatever is going on here it's internal structure of the daily time frame right i can see that i have a supply there i have a supply there i have liquidity here liquidity that they can also come and collect uh before maybe they go wherever they want to go so already I'm I'm now drawing my zones now where they are bound to come, right? For example, if they are, if they want to collect this, they can come and collect it, drop down, right? Them coming to collect this liquidity, they haven't shifted anything internally because according to internal structure, that still remains the high. Then the law is the law that broke internal order flow, which is here it's not yet there so if this law comes all the way like that that will be the lower low then that high will be the lower high 
then if it comes in so that will be the internal structure now so it breaking this is not even breaking it's not even breaking it's not even changing character that will not be a change of character there it's still obeying respecting uh it's its structure right so i'm also expecting something like this so you see i make i have, I have quite a number of scenarios that i'm i'm even ready for right in as much as i have all of that i'm still also someone who draws my zones pre-plans my trades before i even take them when the market comes to my zone i know the action the proper action to take i know the proper action to take so this is what i'm seeing on the daily right overall external structure is bullish internally internally we are now bearish because of this right so let me go down to the four hour which is uh what i call the real gist the real gist time frame the real gist time frame this is the time frame now that must help us to make the decisions that whatever decisions that we want to make now this is the time frame that must help us with those decisions right right so on the four hour if you want to refine this you find out is this uh that is the supply there and uh, oh, is this this one this one was mitigated so it's around this one this one that's the supply according to the four hour that I'm anticipating them to come and take out this liquidity, right? But before they do that now, before they come to do all of that, uh, there are things that they must do. There are zones that they must break. Here, someone can call it a break of structure, right? You can say we broke structure down, internal structure, which is, there's nothing wrong with that, right? There's nothing wrong with that. You can see clearly that they broke structure down there. Then here, we would have caught some counter, counter buys, obviously. From the bottom there, I think I showed you in the previous gold video that I, I, I did, I explained fully how you could have caught this counter buys going up, right? This counter buys going up, you could have caught them nicely uh, like that. Not only using the trend line, but combining it with other confluences now. So here to the upside, I have this. And on the one hour, I think I also have another zone there. So most probably, I'm, I'm, I, I, I usually draw the last one there because this one will be used as inducement. They use that as inducement. So here, if they are going to continue dropping now, if they are going to to continue dropping, they they will come and drop from there. But now, if ever they want to fulfill that move that I showed you on the daily, they will, they, they will most probably continue with this current was according to this current zone here right according to this current structure according to this current movement that is a externally obviously someone can say the broke structure blah blah that's a law right you can say that so they, are, they can still push up to there right if you're still following that external uh, if you're still respecting that external order flow all right so but now according to this current current movement that is happening now right this current movement that is happening now which is here they changed character here after they changed character here let me now show you now what i'm after they changed character here obviously you could have bought these initial buys you would have bought them as well here the retest you would have bought targeting these minor levels you would have bought right same thing here them coming back to a key level like this you would have also bought there's nothing wrong with this right so now after they've done all of that now after after they've done all of that hmm, after they've done all of that after they've done all of that let me mark zone here right this is a this is one leg. This is a zone that I'm still anticipating them to come in and 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 wipe out like and tap before they continue going up. This zone that I marked here, right? You can zoom in. You can zoom in. You can zoom in. This. 
that's a that's a serious 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 very strong uh very strong demand zone that is there here they came the first time you could have bought you remember i said you could have bought this breakout even this one that's an inducement entry that you could have taken you could have bought as well an inducement entry targeting these minor levels to the top you have taken taken these minor supply zones here you could have targeted those as your tp right same thing here coming down you could have also sold you would have also sold initially sold initially by the breakout there the breakout there at the top there you could have also sold gold here you would have sold gold there there's nothing wrong with that right so there you can see that they also left out a a certain zone they left out a certain zone there they left out a certain zone there which is a supply zone there supply zone that they left out that they are bound to come and tap onto before they drop so change of character inducement came again created equal laws here which is which is liquidity now that's that's those are intentional moves that the market makers do those are intentional moves that the market makers do uh to to to, to generally wipe out people so basically you'll be looking forward to something like this you sell from there to here meaning this entire week i'm expecting a lot of money to be made on gold the same thing that we do every week we make money obviously every week i'm expecting the drop come and wipe out liquidity tap into the zone once they tap into the zone there once they come and tap into the zone there then they can continue even going up right this is a move that i'm anticipating so from there from here i'll be anticipating a long position now a long position all the way to the top all the way to the top you can target that supply once that supply is broken they can check out that liquidity that i spoke about and ultimately target this zone right so these are the trades that i'm looking forward to this is how i trade i pre-plan my trades after i pre-plan my trades then i let the market run i just let the market run i just let the market run i just let the market run now and move uh, i don't chase the market <laughs> the market is the one that must chase my zones not me i don't chase the market you can only chase something if you know that you are not going to get it <laughs> Uh, if you are still chasing something, it means there is a lack of knowledge. Uh, there's something lacking on your side, basically. Right. So this is the structure that I'm currently having on gold. It's current structure. If if you notice, even the buys that we are currently in, they are even being supported by this key level here. That's a key level, right? It's not only we didn't enter just because of the key level only. No, there are so many other confluences, so many other confluences that I added. Uh, there's a key level, yes, I can see it. But there are also other confluences that I added uh, to support that trade. There are so many other confluences that I added to support that position that we are currently in. So if I go to go down to one hour like this, if I go down to my one hour like this, right, this is my one hour now, right? Your trend line brothers can come and draw all sorts of trend lines here. All sorts of channels, all sorts of. I we also know how to do that. It's just that we don't want to mess up our chat now, <laughs> because of uh, because of understanding. The more understanding you gain on the market, the less the less the less noise you you apply into your analysis. Same thing here going up. You would have remember I showed you. So I showed you. You would have entered there. You would have entered there. You would have entered even here. You would have sold there. You would have bought there. So yeah, you would have also bought using this counter trend line. You would have also bought, right? You are buying, buying, but buying with understanding. You are buying with understanding. You are buying into, buying into supply. You are buying into supply. You are not allowing this to confuse you. You would have taken the initial buys from here. That was a nice entry, targeting this key level and ultimately that zone where I'm anticipating sales from. So on the one hour, if I try to refine the level according to one hour, you realize that the zone according to one hour, the zone according to the one hour is this one, which is where I'm anticipating sales here on the supply. This supply. So that supply is going to be my sell zone. 
I'm going to share this signal as usual with my VIP signals group. Uh, I'm going to share the signals with my VIP signals group. Uh, we are going to make money out of the cell. We're going to make money out of the cell. Then here, even coming down here, this is the zone. But if you refine it, you realize that it's this demand inside here. That's the real zone that they are bound to. That's where you can put your TP2. But where it is, it's still fine as well. So this is the current setup that I'm having now on gold. We don't guesswork things here. We analyze the data from all directions, from all angles. <laughs> I'm currently holding a very beautiful profit right now on the buys that we took here. Not only is, the, is, it, is it because of a key level, it's also because of a breaker block. A breaker block, this was the previous, the previous supply that was broken here. So already I, have, I, I, I didn't have just one confluence supporting that. I had this supply, previous supply that was broken into now a breaker block, keys on there. Uh, what else? Uh, I'm anticipating that we haven't reached my finals on at the top. So it still has to continue going up. This, uh, this demand here was mitigated. So there was no need for them to come down there. So already there was no need for them to even, once they come and break here, once they come and break here, it means they, they have now changed character, meaning they are now saying this is now, uh, or so long they change character here, it means they can't keep on pushing higher there. So for them to keep on pushing higher to the zone, which is this zone, they have to continue maintaining the bullish stance. They have to keep on maintaining the bullish stance, keep on maintaining the bullish stance. They mustn't break. They mustn't break the bullish stance. They mustn't break here. Once they come here and break here, uh, they, 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 they would have so they can't come and do that before they reach their final zone so now that's all the confluence right now I'm currently still in the buy still anticipating our so the entire today we can still we are still making money on the buy but I'm still eyeing my eyes there on the sell uh, this sell can happen later today later today or uh, in the early hours uh, tomorrow early, uh, early hours in the morning tomorrow this is the setup that I'm having on gold. So, guys, this is my analysis. I'm done. I'm done here, guys. If you found if you find this video helpful, make sure you like, you share the video, you subscribe to the channel. If you want to be part of my team, my community, I have a free Telegram group, I have a free WhatsApp group, I have a free Discord group where I engage with the traders, enlighten them, give them the light, show them the way, the proper way of trading, show them the proper way of making money out of the financial market, showing them what works, showing them what doesn't work, giving them free signals also weekly, giving, giving them free setups, doing some free discussions with them, enlightening them each and every single day. So if you want to be part of such a community of people who are winning every day on the market, join my groups in the links that are in the description below. Join my free Telegram group, the link is in the description below. Join my free WhatsApp group, the link is in the description below. Uh, join my Discord group. The link is also in the description below. So guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found enough value here. Make sure you like, you subscribe, and you share the video. Thank you for watching.